Hello friends, if you want to know what is the difference between a feature, epic and a user story, then you are watching the right video. In this video, I am going to explain you the difference between these three with a very good example. Now, say for example, there is a business need to develop a school management software. For this, there are mainly two very important stages. One is requirement phase. Another one is those requirement should be communicated with the development team. So generally in these two phases, either a business analyst or a product owner will be involved. Now, now in this video, I am going to explain you how this requirement will be communicated to the development team. Now in this school management software, there will be many modules or features to be developed. Say for example, like attendance feature, finance feature, transportation feature, enquiry feature, admission feature and some more. Now, if we tell a development team to develop a attendance module or a feature obviously will not understand what to develop so it is very much important to break down these features into epics and further down to user stories so only user stories will be understood by the development team now I will show you how to break it down taking one feature into an example Now in this slide you can see that feature is being further broken down into epics and those epics are further broken down into many user stories. Now I am going to explain you how to break it down taking an example of attendance module. Now in this slide attendance module is a feature. And this feature is further broken down into epics. Now, as we know in attendance model, there will be many sub modules like student attendance is a sub model, faculty attendance will be a sub model, and many other, ad uh, uh, other administration stuff uh, attendance will be another sub module. Now, this sub module, for example, student attendance sub module will be further down broken down into functionality stuff that is functionality user stories for example in student attendance uh, sub module there will be many functionality for example adding student attendance is a functionality updating student attendance is a functionality downloading student attendance is a functionality now this each functionality will be user stories so when we give this functionality to a developer so it is very easy for them to develop now, with same same with another epic for the same attendance model, it is faculty attendance sub model. And for this sub model, there will be many functionality like attendance, faculty attendance is a uh, uh, adding uh, faculty attendance sub model, updating faculty attendance is a sub model, downloading faculty attendance sub model. So this each functionality will be a user story. Now, <coughs> please like and subscribe this video. And in the further videos, in the next video, I am going to explain you how to write this feature, epic and user stories. Thank you very much friends.